Hello, everybody. My name is Elijah Hurt. I'm Lucas Shifflett. And I'm Courtney Merrill. First of all, the three of us would like to thank the whole PL PLTW team for inviting us to be here. It has been such a great experience, and we are very honored to be able to present our video. Uh, we are from the apple capital of the world, Wenatchee, Washington. Wenatchee is a city east of the Cascade Mountains in the state of Washington. It is a rural community and is surrounded by agriculture and natural resources. I am a freshman at Pacific Lutheran University and am studying education. The last year, our senior project was to design and create fully functional skis. To start the project off, we had to do a lot of research to find out what the process really was to make it a reality. From the research, we, crea from the research, we created an, an outline for our skis on a CAD program and changed the design to exactly how we wanted it to look. After learning the process and creating the design, we put our knowledge of the process to the test and built skis from raw materials. One of the most important aspects of the process was being able to work as a team, which happened to be my favorite part. The way we worked as a, as a unit and integrated different ideas into the process changed my mindset on what it meant to work as a team. And I'm studying to be a mechanical engineer at Wenatchee Valley College in Washington State. Uh, after the whole designing part, then we were invited to take a trip to K2 Ski Factory where they design and test skis, which was pretty sweet. I mean, you get to see how the pros are doing it with their you know, million dollar equipment and then how we're doing it in the classroom and it's actually pretty similar. And then on a later date, uh, we're on a 200 mile road trip to Kelso, Washington to cut out the cores of our skis. I kind of had like a moment of realization, uh, you know, hey, I can actually do this for a living. So that's kind of what sent me to do the engineering. And then uh, applying, you know, my long term school career to like a good project and creative, it, it really gave me purpose to do with my life. And I am a senior currently at Wenatchee High School in Washington. And I am in the process right now of making my own skis. Thanks to these two guys and other guys like them who spent countless hours of hard work in making this whole project happen last year, I'm able to follow their footsteps in creating my own custom pair of skis. Like they both were talking about, there is a great amount, amount of engineering that goes into this project. But for me, my favorite part was the designing. I love that my skis are different and there isn't anything like them which always makes a great conversation starter when going up the chairlift. Lots of thought process goes into designing the perfect pair of skis that fit you and your personality. This project has helped me a lot learn about myself and the way I like to think creatively, which has led me to follow in a career of interior design so I can watch my dreams grow into a reality just like we did with the idea of skis and slowly processing them into our own. We just wanted to thank you all again at PLTW for allowing us to come and share our project that we are all so very passionate about. On a personal note, I have really enjoyed getting to know all of the high schoolers here from around the country. You all are doing amazing things. And if you guys have the opportunity to make a video of your own to show your progress, I encourage you to do so. This is a short film of the process last year of making the skis that was developed by a senior in an internship with a local film company in Wenatchee. At our Spring Tech Ed Conference, I saw a presentation on students building skis and snowboards, and I knew this was the perfect application for our STEM curriculum. The first time I heard about the ski project was last year. I was in AutoCAD. I'm an avid skier, so I'm, I was interested. My first thoughts were that it wasn't going to happen. I just felt like that doesn't really sound like a real thing to do. That just got me right away. I mean, you don't really go to school thinking you're going to make skis. I think I'm most looking forward to uh, 
I don't know, really developing my passion for skiing, like getting on the mountain with these skis that I made and seeing it all come together. You know, I'm taking inspiration from other skis that I, you know, my dream skis or whatever, and I get to build my own ski. I think that'll be amazing. Next, we take the students over to Seattle to K2 Sports and Lion Ski so that they could see how skis are put together professionally before they actually did it themselves. It's pretty surreal. It's pretty cool. I mean, I didn't expect a quarter mile warehouse. Then we got an actual tour to see what they do around here like on a daily basis. And it was just really cool to see what they do on a professional level, like very efficiently and what we're actually going to do. The same software that we're using in the classroom is what they're using here. It's been really cool to see the process. It just makes it seem so much more real. I really liked the pressing, where everything kind of comes together. You could just see the whole process in one step. It's been really cool to get in here and see the environment of K2 in line. The culture here seems really, really laid back, and I think that allows for a lot of the innovation and that kind of mindset. It's really cool to see people who are as excited about building skis as, as I am and as I was at their age but actually be able to show them what's going on and what's going on beneath the surface, so. So the students have finished their designs and their software, the cores are cut out, now it's time for construction, so this is the exciting part, this is what we've been waiting for. And so it's great timing, John Hadley, uh, an expert ski crafter was able to come in and help us with our first layout. I really like doing this. There's a lot of communication, a lot of figuring out, a lot of head scratching, and a lot of work. The whole process was sweet. I love the sanding. Just that one millimeter changes the whole character of the ski, you know? The coolest part for me is seeing that glue go down and then laying those layers down. It's pretty neat to see the just kind of all stick together. The craziest part of it all was that the governor happened to be at our school and he stopped by to help out. So that was pretty cool. The governor helped build my skis. I was a little surprised just at how kind of simple it was. We kind of smush it all together, leave it there for a few hours, and then out pops a ski. First time opening up the bag and pulling the skis out, it's just, wow. Yeah, that's what I've kind of looked forward to the whole time, is feeling that final product and not just designing it on the computer, but actually being able to say, I, I built this, I made this. like it was going to be all come together, but now that we're up here skiing on them, it's kind of kind of awesome just to ride them and know that you put all this together with classmates and your teacher. And Life is so glorious, it was meant for us to be victorious. Pretty crazy to just finally get on and ski on them. And I'm happy to have a product that, you know, we just took up on the mountain and that was pretty good. It was kind of reassuring to me that I could actually do this. Because I know that in the future, this could really be an amazing career. Life is pure.